Alrighty. As you can see, I have now gotten this charger working. It actually wasn't the charger that was the problem. It was my XLR cable. So, what the deal is, is I used a standard XLR cable because that's the type of connector my bike battery takes. But I didn't realize it was not wired to the standard configuration. It, uh, the XLR uses pin 1 and 3 as positive and negative 2 is ground and my bike battery uses pins 1 and 2 so the whole time I had my ground and my negative switched I think it was my negative anyway they're switched and that's why I wasn't doing anything because it wasn't an actual connection so if you're trying to use a standard XLR cable then you might want to check your pin out on your battery because I didn't even think about that. I feel kind of dumb now, but hey, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, check your pin configuration. I had used diagrams, but they're all set to the standard XLR setting. So, I had no idea that it was wrong. Anyway, this hopefully will focus a little bit. As you can see, and saw a little bit before, it is working. Um, 53 volt output. It says 10 watts now. It's fluctuating. Uh, it's gone up to 75, and it usually stops around 60 or so, 50. So, but, yeah, the highest I've seen is about 75. And for amps, the highest it's put out is about an amp in. Uh, 9% or so that's what I, the highest I've seen so I'll stop recording that since it's blurry but there's my panels and nice new I mean nice bright direct sun 200 watt panels are wired as you saw in my other video they're wired directly into this and then that goes to my battery and whatnot. so it seems to be working out. I'm going to let this charge for a few hours and we'll see if my BMS lights turn on to say it's fully charged or if this turns off at all. But things seem to be working now. So I hope anyone that, has ha that was having the same troubles I was having or similar, uh, hope this helped you out. My next stage is for this project, I think since now I have two of these because the company sent me a replacement even though I didn't need it apparently. I have two of those and two panels. I think I might try wiring the two panels each to their own charge controller and then that to the battery pack. That way it balances things out a little more between the panels when they have them in shade and whatnot. I have these running in parallel so that way, when it does get in shade, it should hopefully not strain the system as much. And that's kind of the idea of throwing in a second charge controller. So we'll see how that works out. I don't know. Anyway, thanks guys.